you're looking for a Town Hall 14 base inside a Clash of Clans that's been unbeaten in war, never three-star. Today, I got you covered with this Clash Champs Town Hall 14 unbeaten base. Link is in the description of this video. What I'm gonna be doing here today is taking you through multiple different attacks to see why this base is so strong. You gotta let me know what you think of it in the comments below and how you would attack it if you are an attacker. Notice this queen is diving into that town hall compartment. Not a bad start. Try and take down the town hall early, but there is a single target inferno there, which is being used to slow down a queen charge, make you invest spells to shut that down. Look at these rocket balloons coming out. Huge part of the clan castle are those rocket balloons. Although the queen does stay up. You'll notice time and time again, queens will die to rocket loons in the clan castle just because they're so quick and drop damage so fast that if you don't freeze them, a lot of times they'll take you down, especially with those super minions from far. But the queen actually does a nice job here, takes down the town hall. So a little bit of a baity town hall compartment, right? Like calling you in. I would love to see a single target inferno tower right there in the center, but clearly that is too shut down a Lalo style attack, which if you look at the composition, that's what we're looking at right here. Lalo coming in from the lower portion of the base. It's quite wide down there. The defending queen is dead in the center of the base as well. You're really gonna wanna take out that queen before you go in the attack, but I'll tell you what, that's part of the strength of this base. The queen is there in the center. You got a stone slammer coming in as well, going right for that multi-target Inferno, eating a couple of those air mines along the way. Grand Warden's Eternal Tome is there to push these balloons through that queen. And you gotta wonder what is going to take it down. Looks like you got a Yeti coming out of the uh, stone slammer and that's gonna clear out that middle compartment. Queen's still going, but this one's gonna end in a fail. Remember guys, if you wanna try out any bases, head on over to clashchamps.com where they have a ton of bases for you. Free bases or base packages you could pay for for you and your clan. If you decide to use code echo because it will save you 10% on anything you buy from Clash Champs or Clash School or Champ Bases, literally everywhere. Even Code Echo in game. Well, that hooks me up. So thank you guys so much. Inside of any Supercell game, mind you. Four seconds left. The base stands with a 72% two star. That's the first fail. So that one didn't work. So why don't we go in with some bowlers, some Valkyries, some Yeti, kind of a bunch of different troops on this attack right here. But going in from the ground, this time coming in with the queen from the eastern side of the base, not going straight for that town hall card. It's just like a Valkyrie smash attack here. Log launchers in the composition as well. Look at this. Queen's gonna be able to dive on in. I like the balloon protecting the Electro Dragon. Will the queen get pulled though? Oh my goodness. The queen was supposed to dive into the compartment, but the Electro Dragon did not clean out the direction early enough. This is going to be a problem. That queen is going to mess things up, and I'm telling you, funnel or lose. It literally comes down to that. You need to funnel your attacks properly, and if this attacker would have waited a little bit longer, they would have then been able to get that queen into the compartment and basically set the proper funnel because now she's just diving around. And I would love to see her try and push into this eagle compartment, but at this point in time, just trying to salvage as much as he can. She could step forward, into the compartment with the dark storage and get some value. But instead, is she going to go in this way? I think she's going to be pulled by the cannon and then go around. She's not going to get it. She is still not going to go into the base. Looks like this attacker needs to work on their funneling. Missed two separate funnels right there, which is going to be devastating on the attack. Now, coming in for the sacrifice, just trying to make sure they get the two-star log launcher coming into the base. And that's going to go straight for the town hall. Yeti, Bowlers, Valkyrie, they're all going to dive on into that Town Hall compartment. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, the music you hear in the background, that's my latest album over at Getaway Music Entertainment. It's called Into the Night. It's a synthwave album, which I am in love with. All copyright free, all usable for your streams and for your YouTube videos or just for your casual listening. Go check us out on Spotify or YouTube or really any platform. Links are down below in the description of this video. Take a listen, see what's up with that because it's definitely OP. But right now, this attack is not OP. Actually, it's a pretty rough looking one altogether. Super minions are still going ham on those attack troops that are going into the base. And with 12 seconds on the clock, you know how long it's gonna take this queen to shut everything down. 
Six more seconds. Three more seconds. Rough attack. Solid base. Link in the description. Let's check out another strategy. How about everyone's favorite? How about going in with Electro Dragons? Literally just spam them across the base and hope for the best. It's what so many people are doing, especially attackers that are maybe not the highest of level yet. This strategy is also used at very high levels as well. So really, it's usable by all. Which one are you? A noob using E-Drags or someone that's experienced that sees a base that can be taken down by it? Well, this was done properly as well. Notice the queen. She funneled down the, the southern portion of the base, just as you're supposed to do. Electro Dragons were sp spread wide. Grand Warden really getting up. Almost all of the Electro Dragons and the Balloons, it worked out really nicely if you ask me. Now notice the Rocket Balloons are, have nothing to attack. They're not going to be coming out of that Clan Castle. Blimp is in. Freeze spells down. What comes out of the Blimp? But a bunch of Balloons and they're going to take down the Town Hall. Slowly move their way around. They do get a little bit more death damage there. But the Tornado Trap, which has just been exposed, took them down along with the poison from that Town Hall itself. Electro Dragons, they seem to bunch themselves up on the top of the base with that grand warden and with a single target inferno tower there they better get one big blast off actually looks like there's only one e-drag left right here it didn't even get the chain onto that inferno tower oh the grand warden's assisting though one shot should get it bang there it is with the owl as well baby dragon's cleaning up some stuff up top queen is doing a good job gonna get that air defense but there's still an air defense up top really rough one right there for the attacker this one this one could have come close except for that it, oh the ad does go down up top as well looks like it's going to come down to that multi-target inferno there is one free spell left in the composition this one may have actually come down to time or the queen that is still defending notice how many times we've seen that queen protect behind that wall which is a really nice job being centralized being protected by a wall be able to just pick away at things as they make their way through queen shuts down the storage right there Battle Builder is not able to get the Queen, but look at this. The ground-facing bow is Queen down. Warden trying to help out, but time is going to run out. This base has been holding so far. More strategies you want to see? Let's go take a look. And this is the last attack we're going to look at here today. It's the hybrid. Hogs, Miners, Healers, Queen Charge. It really usually does a nice job. One of the most versatile attacks inside of Clash of Clans, but this base said no. We're not going to let you three stars with the hybrid. Attacker taking their time, making sure that they are going to be going into this base properly. Let's see if they actually do. Look at that. Super wall breaker up top. Opens the wall. Looks like the queen is going to be charging directly into that town hall compartment. Another attempt like we saw in the first attack here of the day. She's going to step forward. Work on that air defense first. The balloon's clear in the skies for any air, for any air mines that could mess up with her healers. But... She's still okay. Look at this. The unicorn keeping her topped off. Now the healers are dropped in. And she's going to actually funnel very nicely into this compartment. The wizard's even assisting. Or is she... You know what? I wonder. The cool thing about hybrid, though, even if the queen doesn't go right for the town hall, the hybrid is versatile and can go straight on through with the Grand Warden's ability. Free spells dropped. Rage on the queen and her healers. I actually love that play. She's raged. Healers are raged. The rocket balloons. Do they shut her down? The queen stays up, shuts down the rocket loons with the poison spell, freeze spell on those super minions. And the queen, she's tied up a little bit on those traps right there, but she is going to be able to turn on these super minions. They're inside of the poison, slowed down. So far, things are going pretty well. Now, I believe the queen was supposed to go to the town hall. That, I think, was the initial plan, but it didn't go as planned. So it looks like the hybrid is going to end up going through. The queen's going to wind up going around. The attacker tried to open up some wall for her to get her to go through. Looks like the king may be able to actually pass through that compartment right now. And the hybrid's coming in from this corner. King's going to take the town hall. I don't hate that play at all, to be honest with you. And here comes the grand warden with the actual hybrid itself. You got the siege barrack coming in. Grand Warden's ability is in hand. He should use that soon, maybe right now. Boom. No, not using it, holding on to it even longer. Look at this. They're all being healed up, though. Oh, man, he's being... There he goes. Finally, with that Grand Warden's ability. I would have probably used it a moment earlier to try and clip all of my miners and all of my hog, hog riders, but didn't work out. He waited a little bit longer than I would have felt comfortable with. Now, that ground-facing bow has been a problem as well. Look at the queen. She's going to help out with the multi-inferno. Actually, is she going after the... Uh, she's going after the... 
the clan castle instead hogs are moving on through the bow is going to go down this one's going to be close this is definitely the strongest most well executed attack that we've seen here yet today although we all do know it's going to end in a fail in the next 35 seconds but i hope you guys enjoyed this video today i hope that you try out this base remember you could use the link down below but when you do mix it up a little bit change the clan castle move the traps around move some of the structures around rotate the base do something to make it your own so everyone doesn't know this as the internet base that it now is just a tip just saying you should do that but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i hope you come back for another unbeaten video next week and maybe you'll even check out some of the other stuff i'm putting on the channel because why not as well as getaway music entertainment because the music is fly guys have a great day and be good